So your new WordPress website looks great on desktop, but when you open it on a phone or a tablet, it looks terrible. Don't worry. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure your mobile responsiveness and make your site look perfect on all devices in just a few simple steps. Now, this is the fifth video in my beginner's guide to building a website series. In this series, I cover everything that you need to know from having no web design skills or knowledge of building a website to having a professional and completely customized website of your very own live and online by the end of this series. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and follow along with the rest of the series. In the third video of this series, we customized our website completely for the desktop view using Elementor. If you didn't see that video and you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down in the description or just up above here in the video. But we need to format it for the mobile view as well. And that's basically what mobile responsiveness is. We want our website to be responsive to all viewing methods, if that makes sense. So what is mobile responsiveness? Basically, there's three individual versions of your website. And depending on which platform your viewer is visiting your website on, one of those three versions is going to be displayed. You have the desktop view, which is like a wide horizontal rectangle. Then you have the tablet view, which is a little bit smaller. It's like a medium sized horizontal rectangle. And then you have the mobile version, which is a vertical rectangle. So let me show you how you can make your website mobile responsive for all viewing methods. In order to configure your website responsiveness, we have to open up Elementor again. And then page by page, we're going to go and open up the mobile responsive view and then we can correct any layout issues that arise for each viewing method on each individual page. So in order to do that, we gotta open up our website back up inside of Elementor. So let's start with the home page. We'll click on edit with Elementor. From here, we're gonna go down to the very bottom and right next to preview your website and update, we've got mobile responsive mode. As Soon as I do that, you'll see this banner appear up on top right here. And we've got desktop, tablet, and mobile, which tablet is basically laptop in my opinion, but whatever. So we've been editing for the desktop view. If I go to mobile, watch this, it's gonna look bad. Boom, everything's kind of crammed and incorrectly spaced. This isn't even incorrect or correctly spaced. Each one of our services sections looks kind of crammed and incorrect. At least the blocks that we downloaded look good. So those were all sized correctly, but we've got some work to do on the top. So let's get started. Actually, okay, so first thing, whenever you edit a widget, just so you know, anytime the change you're about to make has this little icon right in front of it, you see how this icon is right here on all of these? That means that you're exclusively editing the mobile and it will not affect the desktop, okay? So for example, if I make the size smaller and then I go back to desktop, it's still gonna be just as big on desktop. So don't worry, most of the changes you make aren't gonna affect the other versions. That being the case, most of the time when you edit for mobile, the two changes you're really gonna have to make, and that's about it, is just margins and padding and size. That's pretty much it. Everything else usually just falls into place. So for example, the text, we're just gonna reduce its size until it looks pretty decent on the website. So let's just drop it down to something like, you know, something like this. Go to the advanced tab and we can add some padding or we could just center everything. That actually might be the easiest way. So if we click on the column right here, you'll notice that the alignment is exclusive. So we center everything and I think it's gonna make everything look so much better. Click on the text. We gotta center the text as well with center. Nope, not that one. Go to the style tab, center. There we go. So now that everything's centered, it looks a little bit better. And again, on the desktop version, everything's still over to the left. So we're fine. On a mobile phone, your website will look kind of different, but it's because it's on a completely different viewing platform. So first of all, what we're gonna do is definitely add some padding to the top because it's just shoved up against there. So let's go with like 90 and then we'll add some to the bottom and we might do like 90 again. Beautiful. Yeah, that section's looking bigger or uh, better, I mean. We can go ahead and adjust the size of the rest of these. So you guys know how to go into typography and adjust size. So we can do that. Let's make this look more like a subtitle, a lot smaller. Good. We can also go to the column advanced tab and add a little bit of padding on the right and left. So everything's not so jammed up against the side. So let's just kind of go with like, I don't know. 18 looks pretty good. There we go. And then now we can kind of increase and decrease sizes based on how big we want our text to look. So I want this to look like a main title. So that looks good. Much better. So much better. And then we have the button right here. Yeah, I think that looks great. All right. So next for the stat section, I want these to just be in a row straight down the middle and it's super easy to do. Just click on the six dots right here to edit your container. And we're going to change the direction, which again is exclusive to down. And then we're also just going to justify or align the content to the center. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now this one is all cramped over to the right because the sizing is a little too big. So what we can do is we can go to the widgets and we can, we can shrink the size of we want. Uh, so that's the counter gap. So let's go to number typography and we can reduce the size to like, you know, 36. And then we can also go to the title, change the style and change the size and change it to like 14. Looks good. Now we just copy and then we paste the style, paste the style, 
paste the style. And now our section has compressed perfectly. Everything is nice and centered and the sizing looks good. Click on update to save our work. And we can go double check the desktop view to make sure that my copy and pasting didn't affect it, but I know it didn't. So we're good to go. All right, so we'll go back to mobile view, scroll on down. We could make them a little bit bigger or maybe reduce the padding on the sides to make them bigger, but I think that's fine. Next, again, we have our sections for the services. And so to be honest, I think I'm just gonna center everything. So we can click right here and we can just center all of our content. And then we can click up here, center all of our content, uh, center it to the middle as well. And then what we're gonna do is we have margin and padding inside of this. So let's just reduce it or remove it. So type in a zero and voila. Now we might want to add just a little bit to the right and left, or maybe we just go all the way around. So yeah, like 15 all the way around. That looks good. And so what we're going to do is just copy and we'll paste the style to each column real fast, or excuse me, container. Like I said, usually you're only going to make layout changes, size changes, and spacing. That's about it when it comes to mobile. So now each service has its own tab. That looks good. This one looks good because it was a block we downloaded from starter templates. So everything compresses nicely. So does this one. So does that one. Only thing we could do is if you wanted, you could make this centered, but honestly, it doesn't bother me that it's on the side. It's up to you though. And then we have our call to action, which still looks good. We could reduce the size just a tiny bit if we wanted to, but I think it's fine. So once you're done editing the mobile, you can go to the tablet view or laptop and we can make it just a smidge bigger and let's make some changes. That looks fine. Let's go ahead and reduce the size of some text here. So we'll do this. We'll reduce the size of this one. I'm gonna go a little faster so I don't take too much of your time. We'll reduce the size of this guy as well, substantially. We can affect the padding that's on the side here. So edit container. We can go down to like 50. So it's a little bit more to the left, which looks good. This text is centered, but I didn't want it centered. I want it to the left. There we go. And now that is exclusive by the way. So if I check desktop, still to the left. If I check mobile, it's still not centered. That's weird. Okay. Center it. That's a weird glitch because it is supposed to be exclusive. So now if I go to desktop, it's still to the left. Okay. We're good. I must've clicked on something earlier. So again, we're doing the laptop screen because it's a little bit smaller than desktop. So everything kind of gets crammed. I think this looks good so far. We offer should be way smaller. These should be way smaller. So we'll go to icons, make the size like yay big. We'll make the gap is fine, but we need to change the text size and we'll reduce the size to something like this. And then the explore button, it's a little big. I mean, we could leave it there if we wanted to, or you could go to button ID button. I thought there was a button size in here somewhere. If not, you can just reduce the text size. So it's 16, you can go down to like 12 and it's gonna reduce the size of the button. And then you can also go in here and reduce the size of the padding if you wanted to. So that's up to you. I'm gonna leave it the way it is though. It's perfectly fine. I want the button to grab their attention so that they click on it and then start purchasing things. Okay, so next we have this section. Again, we built it from scratch. So that's why it's not perfectly, what do you call it? Edited for the mobile and tablet. But all we gotta do is come in here and change the number and text size again. So we'll just kinda make the size look semi-decent. Let's go to the title, change the size up a little bit, and then we'll just copy and paste it. Paste the style, paste the style, and paste the style. And looks like that was perfect. Scroll on down. The services actually look fine. <laughs> okay, that one doesn't look fine. But the services look pretty close to being fine. We could center these or we could just reduce the padding on the sides and I bet that might fix it. So let's just go to like 80. Yeah, pretty much fixed. Oh, whoops, I think I did all the way around. Hang on. Padding on the left and let's just go 60. Yeah, let's go 60. All right, so we're gonna copy this and paste it to this one and just see if it fixes it. Okay, it kind of did, but everything is to the right. Okay, so we just need to change everything to the right. So let's go ahead and just align it to the end. And then we'll replace that padding of 60 over to the right. Perfect. This text needs to be shoved over to the right as well. Uh, so we can adjust to the right. We can also go to the advanced tab and add just a smidge of padding on the left, only on the text editor so that it doesn't go all the way over there. So we just increase it to like, I don't know, 70 is good. All right, so now let's just copy for this one and we'll paste it down here to the one that's on the left, paste style. Yeah, that looks good. We'll copy the one that's on the, excuse me, the left, we'll copy this one and we'll just apply it to this guy right here. There we go. All right, so everything's looking good. Last thing I might do is actually apply that padding to each one of these real fast. So I could apply padding to the right on this one and then I could apply padding to the right on this one. And then we could apply padding to the left on this one. You'll notice my values aren't perfect. I'm just kind of making it work. Uh, you'd want your numbers to match up, obviously, but that way it's left, right, left, right. Update to save your work. I'm trying to hurry so I don't make this video too long for you guys. Okay, so next we have the why choose us section. We can just reduce the size of this text just a little bit, and I think that would pretty much fix it. 
yeah, everything else looks great. From here we move on, the quote looks good again. This one looks good again, because again, these were all taken from blocks. And then we have our call to action, which our call to action has weird padding. So we can go to the advanced tab. Yeah, it's got margins for some reason. There we go. Pretty much fixed it, except for the fact that it has more on the top than it does on the bottom. There we go. Click update to save your work and we're done. Okay, so what we just did, the desktop, mobile and tablet view, inside of Elementor, you gotta go do that for all the other pages. And I'm gonna let you guys go figure that out. But again, all you would do is just close out, go open your website up on a new tab, go to the next page. And by the way, these pages, we didn't do any layout changes. We just switched pictures and text. So you actually probably don't have to do anything because the template is already made to be mobile responsive. So for example, I could go to responsive mode, go to phone. Yeah, it's gonna look fine. You could do the same thing for contact and about. So you go to services and about, or services and contact, I mean, and you would just go double check that everything looks good. But if you didn't make any layout changes, then you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. Your website now looks great on all viewing modes. Now, remember, this is my fifth video in my beginner's guide to making a website series. Now, that being the case, in this next video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about next steps for how to utilize your website in the most productive way possible. I'm gonna cover adding more pages to your site, website security, page speed insights, professional emails using your domain, and so much more. So I'll see you guys in the next video.